After over a year of looking and debating and sweating and fretting and all of the feelings that you feel when you're looking for a new home, we finally found one. What do you say we go take a tour of it? house come on in I'm going to give you a new home empty house tour this is our new home it's been a long time in the making our initial plan at our old house was to just stay there two years but then 2020 happened and just things went crazy and we put this on hold but we finally have our new home this is hopefully our forever home and i just wanted to give you a tour and, and i'm going to show you and talk about some of the things that i want to do in it so this is the you come in and it's pretty amazing i'm not going to lie this is a pretty spectacular entry to a formal living room and it's got really tall ceilings, but I have so many ideas already whirling. As you can see over here, it doesn't have a mantle, so we need to do something on this fireplace to really dress it up. We're gonna do some trim, a mantle, give it a good makeover here, but it's pretty amazing. And out here, you can see it's on the golf course, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that my husband is a big golfer, so this is a really big perk for him. You'll also notice that there is no pool. So that was one of the sacrifices that we made, but hopefully eventually within time, we may put one of those in. But right now we did sacrifice the pool my boys will want a new one <laughs> but that all takes time so we're gonna go over here i'm gonna i'll take you here in just a second but i'm gonna take you in to the master bedroom and we're gonna go right into the master bathroom because that's the first area here and this is pretty amazing i'm really excited about this it's got a lot of really good bones already i can envision like a chandelier over the bathtub um, maybe a different color on the walls and it doesn't really need a whole lot but you know I've always got ideas spinning and then we're gonna come through here which is a hallway it has his and hers closets and then it comes into the main bedroom area and you'll notice on the floor I'm not a big fan of this carpet it is newer but I am really looking forward to putting in a hard surface due to allergies and pets and all of that so we're gonna probably put in some kind of hard surface flooring throughout the areas that have carpet so in here um, we're gonna add some can lightings maybe switch out the light fixture down the road we'll do moldings and switch out there's a lot of plans we've got a lot of time to do all of this and we're not in a rush so it's got really good views and then it has uh, access to the patio so that is the master bedroom so let's go over in here so back into this main entry area we're going to move into the dining room area and here as you can see it's got very spectacular tall ceiling now the ceiling height in this formal living room area and dining room area is about 23 feet so it is very very tall and as you can see these curtains are in really rough shape so they're gonna go <laughs> we're gonna have to get creative because that is a very tall window i love the railing on here but i would love to see more molding pretty much everywhere so this is the dining room area it's going to be a lot of fun to decorate so let's go over here Right off here is a bathroom. So this is the guest bathroom. It's got a shower and an exit to the back patio because it's meant to be also used as like a pool shower when you eventually have a pool. So over here, this is what is meant to be the office, but we are gonna be turning this into a guest bedroom and I'll fill you in and all that upstairs. So right now, every single wall in this house needs painted there was some really weird touch-up paints you'll notice as we go through that it just is consistent throughout so every wall will need to be painted and get a fresh coat of paint but it will have to happen like one by one so right up back here real quick this is the door to the garage which where my new workshop will be going in in one of the bays but we'll have a couple of the bays for vehicles 
And then we've got the laundry room here. And if you know me, I hate to do laundry. I didn't ever get around to doing the laundry room in my last house. So hopefully we can prioritize this one. All right, so now let's go into the really fun area. <laughs> that is the heart of the home the kitchen. If you've seen my last kitchen, this kitchen is quite a bit larger. I am so excited about this. And at the same time, you know that I have my wheels spinning for this space. So I would love down the road to do a full remodel of this kitchen, but it's got such good bones right now. I love this because it's just got so much more cabinet space than I had before. Um, I see a beautiful range hood in my future. We'll maybe DIY that or something. And then painting out the cabinets. It's got a spot here for double ovens. It has one that's a microwave. So we may find a new location for the microwave and turn this into double ovens because that is something that I have wanted forever. Over here, there's kind of this weird drywall thing that was really popular in our community here. And what I envision, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I envision this turning into another fireplace, an electric one. And I'm thinking maybe we can demo the side pieces here and then use this framework to build out a place for a new fireplace insert, maybe take it all the way up to the ceilings with a beautiful overmantel, and then eventually maybe fill in these side areas with some built-in cabinetry. So, and then there's just such beautiful natural lighting in here that I cannot wait to do window treatments in here and all fun things. And then of course we've got a little breakfast nook over here and I envision building in some benches and maybe like a little round breakfast nook table. So lots of possibilities and we are gonna have so much content, but let's go upstairs. Okay, so I'm gonna stop halfway up the stairs because there's this little niche here. Do you guys have any ideas for me on this? I, I don't know whether I want to do artwork here or turn it into a shelves or maybe drywall over it and get rid of it altogether. Let me know in the comment section below if you have an idea for this area because there's a lot of possibilities. So let's go on up. There are a lot of what I would call living spaces in this home and you've got the family room off the kitchen, the formal living room, and then you've got this space. So I felt like we didn't need to have yet another living space. So what our plans for this room is turning it into maybe a home gym. I've got some boys that are going into their teen years and they are super excited about that thought. We're gonna go back in here because I've got a major renovation planned and I wanna show you what we're doing. Okay, so you can see that there's a door here and it enters into this room, which is huge. <laughs> and this, again, I think was meant for a game room or something like that. We've got plenty of space, we don't need it for that, but what we want to use this for is our boys' bedroom. So you can see that I've got some blue tape down on the carpet. This is where we're planning on doing a wall and we're gonna put a door here and a door right next to it and we are gonna create two new bedrooms for my boys. So that's probably gonna be some of the first content you're gonna see because it needs to happen for us to be able to move in. Then we'll need to do some electrical in here. Obviously this fan is right where the wall is gonna be running and we're gonna need two fans because it is Florida. We need two fans um, for each one of the rooms. So we've got a little bit of work. You can see that there's gonna be a closet over there. And so this is gonna be some really fun content. Okay, so swinging into here, there is a bathroom for the boys to share. It's, it's a little on the dated side, it's beautiful, it's got good bones, but I think we can upgrade this and have a lot of fun doing that as well. But it's just a standard bathroom. And then we're gonna head right back down this hall and I'm gonna tell you why we aren't using the main floor office. So we're gonna come into this room right here. So. My husband's a golfer <laughs> and the plan is, is we are going to knock out this closet and that's going to turn into my husband's desk area for his computer. This area is going to turn into a golf simulator room <laughs> for my husband. So this is going to be my husband's office area. So I'm going to now take you down into the area that is going to be my studio. Oh, but before we go anywhere. 
I have closet space. <laughs> I have so much storage space in this area. I have been dying for that. You know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm hoping to get rid of the Monica closet. No, you weren't supposed to see this. <laughs> and I get a little bit more organized in this home. So right here is the final bathroom. And again, it needs a little bit of love. It's a little bit dated, so we've got, we can do some things in here as well. And it opens into this room, which is the last room in the house, which is going to be my Design to the Nines studio. So we're gonna bring in the craft table, some storage, and of course the Design to the Nines sign. And it has a beautiful view of the golf course as well and some natural lighting, but I'm really excited about this which is a huge closet <laughs> to store all of my antiquing finds and projects and supplies for projects. So this is gonna be so much fun. curious about the exterior but for safety reasons I am not going to show it in its entirety just because I just want to keep my family nice safe and secure but while we're out here the exterior color is not my favorite <laughs> so if you have some exterior color suggestions let me know about that because down the road not immediately that will need to be changed it was actually freshly painted so I hope you enjoyed this empty house tour. If so, there's so much more to come. And if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.